The equation x squared plus y squared equals r squared is the equation of a circle. If we were to draw a graph of this equation, it would be a circle with a center at the origin 0, 0, and its radius would be equal to r. For example, if we had this equation here, x squared plus y squared equals 3 squared, this would be a circle where the center is at the origin, and this number 3 here tells us the radius is equal to 3. So to draw a graph of this, we take some axes, and we draw a circle which has a radius 3 and center at the origin, so something that looks like this. Notice how the graph crosses the y and x axis at positive 3 and also negative 3. And if we had the graph x squared plus y squared equals 5 squared, this would be exactly the same idea, but the radius would now be equal to 5. So we draw a circle with center at the origin and a radius of 5, so something that looks like this. The way these equations have been written is fairly uncommon though. You're more likely to see an equation written in this form. So x squared plus y squared equals some number. Now to find the radius of this circle, we need it to be equal to r squared. So we need to rewrite this 16 here as something squared. Well, the square root of 16 is just 4, so we could rewrite the 16 as 4 squared, which would mean the radius of that circle is 4. And it would look like this. And if we had the equation x squared plus y squared equals 36, then we need to rewrite this 36 here as something squared. So we do the square root of 36, which is just 6, so x squared plus y squared equals 6 squared, and the radius is 6. So it looks something like this. Sometimes an exam question will give you an equation and ask you to actually draw out the graph. For example, x squared plus y squared equals 9. We could write as x squared plus y squared equals 3 squared. So we need to draw a circle with a radius of 3 and center at the origin. To do this, you're going to need a pair of compasses. You place the sharp end right on the origin at 0, 0 and the other end you want to open up to a radius of 3. You then do one full turn of this, and you will have drawn a circle with a radius of 3 with a center at the origin that looks like this. Sometimes questions will test the reverse process, so they could give you a circle that's already been drawn and ask you about its equation. So in this example, we need to write down the equation of circle A and the equation of circle B. Looking at circle A, I can see it crosses all of the axes at 8 and negative 8 which means its radius must be 8. So the equation would be in the form x squared plus y squared equals 8 squared, since 8 is the radius. I know how to do 8 squared, that's 8 times 8, which is 64, so it's x squared plus y squared equals 64. For part b, we need to do the purple circle, and I can see the radius this time is 10. So it's x squared plus y squared equals 10 squared, and 10 squared is 10 times 10, which is 100. Sometimes questions don't have a graph at all. They may give you an equation, like x squared plus y squared equals 49, and ask you to find some information about it. To complete this table of information, I'm going to rewrite it in the form x squared plus y squared equals r squared. I know the square root of 49 is 7, so it's x squared plus y squared equals 7 squared. Now let's fill in the table. So we know that when an equation's in this form, it's a circle and the center must be at the origin, 0, 0. Because we wrote it in this form, we can see the radius must be 7. And the diameter is always double the radius, so if we double 7, we get 14. We can also work out the area of this circle. To do the area of a circle, you do pi times the radius squared. So we do pi multiplied by 7 squared. 7 squared is 49, so we get 49 pi. Now let's try a second example of this. So this time x squared plus y squared equals 121. Let's rewrite that 121 as 11 squared and the center must be 0, 0. The radius we can now see is 11. The diameter must be double the radius, so double 11, which is 22. And the area is pi times radius squared, so pi times 11 squared, which is 121 pi. Now let's do two more examples that are a little bit trickier. So we're now going to do x squared plus y squared equals 3. So we want to write this in the form x squared plus y squared equals r squared. But since 3 is not a square number, when we come to do the square root of it, we're not going to get a nice answer. In fact, we're just going to write it as the square root of 3. So we're going to rewrite the 3 here as square root of 3 squared, because when you square the square root of 3, you get 3. This might look a little odd, but it does make it clear what the radius is. So the center must be 0, 0. The radius is the square root of 3. The diameter is double the radius, so double square root of 3, which we would write as 2 root 3. 
and the area will be pi times the radius squared, so pi multiplied by the square root of 3 squared. We said a moment ago that when you square the square root of 3, you get 3. So this is just pi multiplied by 3, or 3 pi. Now for this question on the right, we also want to write it in the form x squared plus y squared equals r squared, but we have a mixed number. We'll find this easier if we convert the mixed number into an improper fraction. So we do 7 multiplied by 9, which is 63, and then add 1, which is 64. So this is the same as 64 over 9. This is very convenient because 64 and 9 are both square numbers, so we could write this as 8 over 3 squared, since 8 times 8 is 64 and 3 times 3 is 9. The center will obviously be 0, 0 again. The radius we can now see is 8 over 3. The diameter will be double 8 over 3, which will be 16 over 3. And for the area, we do pi times the radius squared, so pi multiplied by 8 over 3 squared. And when you square 8 over 3, you get that 64 over 9 back. So it's pi times 64 over 9, or 64 over 9 pi. Which you could also write back as a mixed number if you wanted to. The thing to remember about these questions is it's easiest if you write it in the form x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Now we're going to have a look at a couple more questions that are slightly more difficult. So for this question we have a circle with the equation x squared plus y squared equals 18, and we need to work out the radius of the circle, and we're going to be asked to give it in the form a root b, where a and b are some integers. To find the radius of the circle we need to write it in the form x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So we're going to rewrite the 18 as the square root of 18 squared. So we can now see the radius of this circle must be the square root of 18. But in this question we need to write the answer in the form a root b. So this question is actually testing your knowledge of simplifying thirds. To do this we'll rewrite the square root 18 as the square root of 9 multiplied by the square root of 2. Since 9 multiplied by 2 is 18. The square root of 9 we can actually do since 9 is a square number, that's 3. So this is equal to 3 multiplied by root 2, or 3 root 2. This is now in the form a root b, where a is 3 and b is 2. If you found the simplifying thirds part of that question confusing, it might be worth going to watch my video on calculating with thirds. I'll put a link to that video in this video's description. Now let's have a look at two final questions. So in this one we have a circle, centre 0, 0 and radius 15, and we're asked to write down the equation of the circle. So this time rather than drawing out the circle, they've just told us some information about it and we need to write down its equation. Well we know that if the centre's at 0, 0, it will be in the form x squared plus y squared equals r squared. And we're told the radius in this question is 15, so it's just x squared plus y squared equals 15 squared. 15 squared is 225, so it's x squared plus y squared equals 225. This could be slightly more complicated if instead they give you the diameter. So in this one we've got a similar question, but the diameter is 24. And once again we need to work out the equation of the circle. So if the diameter is 24, the radius will be half of this, which is 12. So the equation will be in the form x squared plus y squared equals 12 squared. 12 squared is 12 times 12, 144, so the answer is x squared plus y squared equals 144. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Check out the one I think you should watch next, subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos, and why not go ahead and try the exam questions I've put in this video's description.